This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account. So we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I am a black man who didn't know enough about my own history. So I began to dig deeper and do my own research. Black history is American history. So I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please like, follow, share, and subscribe to Teaching Black History. The story of Samuel R. Scottron. Samuel was a prominent African-American inventor from Brooklyn, New York, who began his career as a barber. He was born in Philadelphia in 1841 he received his engineering degree from Cooper Union in 1878. Samer moved with his family to New York City when he was a child where he completed grammar school. He was a community leader in New York, setting up organizations to promote racial harmony and fairness, as well as a public speaker and writer on race relations. He was a member of the Brooklyn Board of Education and a leader in the Republican Party. He fought for the end of slavery in Cuba and Puerto Rico. He invented a special mirror bracket that allowed you to see yourself as others see you. He went on to receive four more patents. During the American Civil War, he was the sutler for the 3rd United States Colored Infantry and almost went bankrupt. To recoup his fortunes, he first operated grocery stores in Jacksonville, Florida, and then a barber shop in Springfield, Massachusetts. It was there that he developed and patented his first invention, the adjustable window cornice. Moving to Brooklyn, New York, he worked as a traveling salesman for an import-export business located in Lower Manhattan while continuing to patent his inventions. And by the late 1880s, was able to support himself and his family by manufacturing the products derived from his patents. His company, the Scotran Manufacturing Company, was located at 98 Monroe Street in Brooklyn. He helped improve society through his anti-slavery efforts and his inventions. Scotchman obtained patents for cornice in 1883, a pole tip in 1886, a curtain rod in 1892, and a supporting bracket in 1893. Many of his inventions were not patented, but he still gained royalties from them. He's also credited with inventing the leather hand strap device used for support when standing on trolley cars. He came up with the idea after traveling to San Francisco, California. In 1894, he perfected a way to make glass look like onyx, and four large Connecticut firms manufactured these items. Scotran was appointed to the Brooklyn Board of Education and served as its only African-American member for the next eight years. Spent 35 years writing on race-related matters for various newspapers and magazines. His articles can be found in the New York Age, the Boston Herald, and the Colored American. His final works were published in the New York African Society for Mutual Relief, 97th Anniversary, 1905. Founded the Society of the Sons of New York in 1884 and belonged to the Brooklyn Academy of Science and the Cooper Union Alumni Society. He held membership in the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite 30 
third degree Mason and was Grand Secretary General of the Supreme Council of the United States for several years. Scotchin married Anna Marie Willett and the couple had three daughters and three sons. Great granddaughter was actress and singer Lena Horn, Samuel Raymond Scotchin died of natural causes on October 14th, 1908. <laughs>